More than 300,000 Montanans have already cast their vote for Tuesday's election, but tens of thousands more will and can vote before the polls close tomorrow on Election Day. MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison gives us the lowdown on last day voting and registration and the final campaign push. It's finally here, Election Day 2018, and election officials in Montana are expecting a much bigger than average turnout for a midterm election. The top races on the ticket are Montana's U.S. Senate race between Democratic incumbent John Tester, Republican Matt Rosendale, and Libertarian Rick Breckinridge, and the U.S. House race. In that one, Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte is facing Democratic challenger Kathleen Williams and Libertarian Eleanor Swanson. While we've already seen a record number of absentee votes cast, thousands of Montanans will be voting the old-fashioned way on Tuesday, going to the polls starting at 7 a.m. And there are still other ways you can cast your vote, even if you haven't registered yet. The time for requesting absentee ballots is passed. Yet, if you're among the 100,000 voters who requested an absentee ballot and haven't turned it in, you can still do that Tuesday, in person, at the polls or your local county election office until 8 p.m. You also can register to vote on Tuesday, but only at the county election office. They'll give you a ballot when you register, and you can fill it out right there and turn it in. As long as you're in line at the election office door by 8 p.m., you'll be able to register and vote. In addition to the top races, voters also will decide four ballot measures, including big money battles over I-185, which extends Medicaid expansion and increases tobacco taxes, and I-186, which would impose new clean water regulations on new hard rock mines. And they'll choose a new Montana Supreme Court clerk and decide two public service commission seats, 125 state Senate and House contests, and scores of other local offices. Candidates made their final pitch Monday, with top Democrats rallying in Missoula and Great Falls, and top Republicans joining Vice President Mike Pence in Kalispell. The message from all sides has been pretty clear for several weeks. Get out and vote. What are you going to do? No. What are you going to get three friends to do? No. We have plenty of close races, up and down the ballot and all across the state. No matter your political leanings, it's a good bet your vote can make a difference here or wherever your polling place is on Tuesday. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And polling places will be open tomorrow from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. It is the final push in a number of high-profile races across the U.S., not just here in Montana.